Hello, today I'm going to show you how to get the Akari armor set. What is the Akari armor set? Boom. It's actually changing. All the gear is changing in like a day and a half, so it's kind of hard to do. Anyways, the Akari mask. Well, the garb, the leggings, all three pieces. Perfect dodging enemy attacks increases melee attack speed and grants 100% melee critical chance for five seconds. So if you perfectly dodge an attack, um, you get a guaranteed critical hit on me me melee melee weapons for five seconds after you dodge um you also get attack speed so one piece gives you five percent two pieces gives you ten percent three pieces gives you twenty percent um this set is getting a massive rework in a day tomorrow tomorrow most of the sets are getting quite a bit of a a, a rework but as of right now it's a uh, guaranteed crit and attack speed when you dodge cool set Cool set. It's going to do this plus more in a day. It's a little bit of a process to get this set. Uh, if you're lucky enough to get the dungeon in ROM, it's it's in ROM. You have to pretty much full clear all of ROM, explore every corner of every dungeon. You have to get three rods and, um, and you go turn them in. I'll show you. Here we go. So here we are in the Vault of the Herald. This is the dungeon, if you're lucky enough to get, that has the Akari weapon set waiting for you at the end. So once you enter it, you just want to make your way towards the end so you can go claim your good rewards. But you have to find items along the way first. Make sure you scavenge every corner. Look, there's a red item on the ground. That typically means a quest item. What is it? The glowing rod. So I only have one glowing rod. I've searched every dungeon or every nook and cranny of this dungeon. Um, I only got one. There might be a chance you can get more glowing rods in other dungeons and come back to this dungeon in this in this roll of rum, um, or you're just gonna have to keep running this dungeon. You're gonna want to remember which door you open: the head pieces on the left, the chest piece, and then the legs. Kari mask. Okay, so because I found this room, this dungeon, early on, uh, and we only had one control rod, right? I put it here to get the headpiece. I couldn't get the chest or the legs because I was missing two more. Look at this. I have fully cleared everything on ROM, did every single dungeon, fought every single boss. See, I even have the Howling Key so I can go to the Undying King now. Um, but in two other dungeons, well, I cleared every dungeon. I literally looked in every corner of every dungeon. Um, and then in a separate dungeon, I found a glowing rod. And then in one of the last ones I did, I found the third glowing rod. So I came back. Now, in one playthrough, I can get all three. I've never seen glowing rods exist outside of this zone. So if you're playing and you haven't seen this dungeon that gives you the Akari gear and you find a glowing rod in a dungeon, you've got a, 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 a ROM that has, that has the Akari gear. So then start scavenging every corner of every dungeon until you get all three rods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's how you get that. It's been a pretty productive day for me. Not that you care, but I got the assault rifle finally after three weeks. I got the Akari gear today. It's been a it's been a good day. Oh, I got uh, Galenic charm, whatever it's called. It's been a good day so far. Just a couple hours. Good day. Hell of a good day. It's like my, God, my ninth playthrough now. Anyways, you can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash slightgumby if you want to watch live gameplay, you want to chit chat, you want to hang out, you want to meet other remnant players. Um, I want to start doing some co-op. I really haven't done any co-op in this game. I'm waiting for the new... 
loadouts to come out because uh, it sounds like we'll be with Leto's armor. You can have like a tank person, and then with menders and the way you can recombine gear, we're gonna have some crazy, crazy different builds. Whereas everything right now is pretty straightforward. Um, so it'll be interesting. I think the co-op's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, it's gonna be way less sweaty than solo uh, because now we're gonna have classes per se. It'll be cool. Uh, anyways, again, twitch.tv slash slanggummy between the late night hours of 8 p.m. to about 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It is for non-kids. I mean, I don't care really who really hangs out. You can't be 13 on Twitch, to be honest. Anyways, um, and we're pretty vulgar. I say a lot of bad no-no words. Not Sesame Street related. You can also follow me on Twitter at slanggummy for news updates, postings, dad jokes, whatever, goofiness. And uh, i got a website, slanggummy.com. we got a Discord channel which we need to figure out what we want to do with regarding for Remnant. It's active in other games, but not Remnant yet. we got to figure that out. Mm -hmm. Description link will be... Description link. Link will be in the description below for the Discord. The Discord. And lots of other links, all kinds of other videos. It's all nice and organized in a little list uh, for your viewing pleasure. There's also a playlist, but it's not. It's just a Remnant overview. Anyways, I'm rambling. Hella rambling. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.